Hello, my name is Luis Rodriguez. I'm for being architecture. Today I want to show for this time how to use Dynamo using a Fusion 360. For the people that they don't know what is a Fusion 360, I want to tell you that it's a great software for modeling uh, elements. It's more for industrial engineer and map engineers. Uh, you can use in construction if you want. For this example, I want to show a video from uh, YouTube in Autodesk Fusion. Uh, it's a very powerful software, uh, more like the 3D Max stuff, but this is software in particular uh, have a great uh, features like SolidWorks or Katia. In this example, you can uh, modeling any complex geometry. For this example, it's like the cars, uh, wheels, and another stuff you can simulate and the material mechanics elements. And then you can uh, create a simulation about the uh, making 3D printing. Okay, for this thing, I want to use a Dynamo. Uh, this is different because you need to go to the app Autodesk and uh, search Fusion 360. There are a lot of plugins for Fusion 2. And for this example, I want to uh, search Dynamo for Fusion. Uh, this is a plugin. This is not a package for the person or the people that are related with the Dynamo and the package. And you can download the package in Dynamo because it installed like a plugin. When you are install the plugin, you appear a new a new palette that they said a Dynamo for Fusion. I create an example that it was very complex for me because I have a lot of time that I done modeling a 3D element complex. Um, well, this is like an example. If you see, uh, we use uh, in this software too uh, a different measurement that they have uh, parameters. For this, I, I I create some random uh, elements, and all these elements have uh, dimension parameter. Uh, they, diameters etc and, and then I need to go to Dynamo for Fusion and then uh, okay I, I am try to search if I find I search I, if I find the the option that you can uh, see the different parameter that you can create I am uh, not a user of Fusion 360. It was very complex for me to create this element because I have a lot of time without modeling. But then you get and click and for Dynamo for Fusion a palette. And for this example, we don't use the sandbox for Revit. This is uh, the program. It's Dynamo Studio. And if you see, uh, it's appear like a little a script for this and I put two windows that you can see uh, the script and the and the fusion element. Uh, this is a very simple script that you have the output elements and you have the input. In the input you can put uh, values and you can change para parametrically uh, the, the elements. For this example, I I use uh, like a number or integer slider that you can see uh, the automatically you can change these parameters uh, with the for this example with the slider. Uh, for this example, I use the uh, the length. Uh, obviously, I need to put uh, the information that it will be easy for me uh, to know what is change. 
uh, for these elements. If you see, my geometry is updated automatically. If I change the number slider for another uh, input, I can change some element for the geometry. For example, is the width for the only one side, and I can change and can, can change parametrically. If I put in another input, uh, it's for the another side, and it's like the same thing. Uh, for example, this is the diameter of the circle. Well, uh, that's all. I appreciate that you can see my video and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you.